Hello everyone, how are we doing and welcome. Today I have something very, very cool to tell you about. What I want to do is introduce you to ReadyShare USB storage access and how you can actually transform the way that you share all of your media files. Now let's think about this. In most homes today we probably have multiple PCs, video game consoles, perhaps some digital picture frames and other network devices that are all going to be connected to your home network. And many of us will store these media files such as music, pictures and video all on a USB hard drive, say if our PC hard drive is too full, or maybe on a USB flash drive just to copy files or just for simple portability. Now access to this media content is very important whether it's anytime or anywhere from any PC or any other network device in your home. Now let's say you want to access this content from any PC in your home but you don't want to go from room to room to find your USB hard drive and then connect it. Well, let's say you're, out, you're traveling and you might be out of the state or out of the country and you just want to hear your favorite music. Well, today that is absolutely possible. The ReadyShare USB storage access enables your router to network any USB hard drive or USB flash drive. This is very simple. It's just plug and play. You simply connect your USB hard drive or flash drive to the USB port in the back of your router. And immediately, any device on your network will have high speed access to your USB hard drive or flash drive. So let me show you how to set this up. Now here with me I have Netgear's ultimate networking machine, the flagship router, the WNDR3700, which supports ReadyShare USB storage access. Simply plug the USB hard drive to the USB port on the router at the back. Notice that the USB light in the front goes green. If you're running Vista, click on the Windows icon and then type in backslash backslash ReadyShare as you see it here in the CMD window. And if you're running XP, first uh, run the Windows utility and then type in backslash backslash ReadyShare in the CMD window as you see it here. And at this point you will find your USB storage device and you can see the contents of it as well. Run the Windows Utility Map Network Drive so that you'll have easy access to your USB drive content anytime from your My Computers. Select Browse and select the USB drive. And now you will find the USB storage device in your list of drives under your My Computers. And you can see all the files that are in your USB hard drive. Now alternatively, Netgear has also provided a utility ReadyShare Connect in the installation and utilities CD. Simply run the utility to access the hard drive and map the network to any PC automatically. Okay, and for a more experienced user, you can log into the graphics user interface by typing routerlogin.net. You can use admin for the username and password for your password and click on the basic settings tab under USB storage. You will now see information about your USB device, total storage, use space, and read write access. Next, click on advanced settings, which is under USB storage as well. Okay, so now that you're in advanced settings, you'll be allowed to modify read write access, rename drives, create folders, as well as set up FTP or HTTP access to the USB drive when you're traveling or away from your home or business. And access to the USB hard drive when you're traveling is very easy. Just ensure that your router and modem are on when you're traveling. Enable HTTP or FTP access via the internet and your internet address should already be visible and this is the address that you should use to access the USB hard drive when you're away from your home. Okay, so now click the edit button there at the bottom and you can change folder names, read write permissions, and change volume names as well. But let's show you exactly how this works. Let's use a smartphone just to show you the remote ability you have. Okay, so now you can have access to your content from any smartphone or PC you just enter the WAN address that you were given just a couple steps earlier and you'll have instant access to your USB hard drive remotely. So let's demonstrate how this works. Let's pick this sunset picture here and we'll click on that and it will, it will request the picture through the network and there you go. Now you have your picture from your USB hard drive onto your phone. Okay, so a range of file systems are supported, including the most popular Windows file system, FAT32 and NTFS, and simultaneous read writes from multiple PCs are supported as well. 
And for most users, you simply plug and play and immediately get access to the content of your hard drive. No configuration or no software necessary. And for more experienced users, you can simply log on to the router, choose your settings and set access controls while enabling the HTTP and FTP access. Now for access from another device, say a game console or a digital picture frame, please refer to the video on UPnP media server functionality and Ready DLNA. I hope this has been informative and helpful and for more information please visit netgear.com.